They're not competing. It's not competition. It's cheating. Cheap electric vehicles, batteries, chips, and materials coming from China will be hit with new tariffs. The president touted the new fees as a way to build up made-in-the-USA industries, focusing on electric cars that can be built domestically instead of cheaper imports that could hurt American business. We're never going to allow China to unfairly control the market for these cars, period. Tariffs on electric vehicles will go from 25 percent to 100 percent. Semiconductors and solar cells will double from 25 to 50 percent tariffs. Some medical supplies will jump to 50 percent from zero, and some Chinese steel and aluminum will be hit with a 25 percent tariff. About $18 billion of annual Chinese imported goods will be impacted. He wants to put a uh, big tariff on China, which is a suggestion that I said, where have you been for three and a half years? They should have done it a long time ago. The new fees expand on tariffs Donald Trump put into place in 2018. Then-candidate Joe Biden criticized the tariffs when he ran for the White House. Both the president and former president are trying to emphasize domestic production as they head into the November election. China expert Gordon Chang says politics are at play with the announcement of the tariffs now. It's really good that the U.S. is increasing tariffs on China's green goods. But if President Biden were serious, he would have done this a long time ago. The fact that this is so close to the November election really casts doubts on his motivation. Tensions were already high with the U.S. and China before the latest tariffs intensified the trade war. China's Commerce Ministry opposed the hikes and said the country would defend its interests before urging the Biden administration to, quote, correct its wrongdoing. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Galka.